All right, flower mechanic here, and today we're working on a um, Dodge Charger, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 2013 Dodge Charger with a check engine light. Um, it's actually a state patrol car here, but um, he's got some timing codes: a P00B. Let's see here. Um, back up to the. Yeah, we're setting a. Uh, This one here, we're setting a P00B. Um, and sometimes you'll have a P0016. It's for the variable valve timing control solenoid. Um, basically what we did on this one is we actually just went in with the scan tool to see if we could hear the um, variable valve timing control solenoid clicking. Because on this particular vehicle, as you can see in the picture here, it is in the center of the intake manifold underneath the intake. And I'll show you over here on the motor. Um, the variable valve timing solenoid is actually underneath the intake manifold so this whole intake manifold has to come off but um, if you do have a P00B uh, variable valve timing control solenoid code in your Darge charger probably uh, they, yeah they got a check engine line on this one they're trying to pass an inspection but the first thing I would do is um, make sure you got nice fresh clean oil in there and also the proper viscosity so um, before you really do anything I or spend any money on a new solenoid um, just change oil make sure the oil is full clear the code and then you know drive it and a lot of times that's going to fix the problem it's not that common for the uh, control valves to actually fail on these and it's also a relatively big job so I just wanted to throw this video out there real quick to um, try and save some people some money if uh, they did run into this problem. And if you do have a compatible scan tool, you, um, you're able to activate that solenoid with the scan tool and then you're going to want somebody under the hood to listen to see if they can hear it clicking. Um, if you hear it clicking, then chances are the valve is going to be good and it can either be sludged up or um, the oil. Could it be the wrong viscosity or it could just be dirty and sludged up so probably what we're going to do on this one here is just change up the oil clear the code and we're going to drive it and see if that fixes our problem if not then um, we'll have to pull that intake off and access the solenoid and at that point we'll, we'll check to see if it's um sludged up or not but uh, yeah like i said it's um underneath the intake manifold here and it looks like uh the service procedure you can see there is what it looks like with the um, intake manifold off and uh, they don't really give you a whole lot of time to do it. It looks like uh, 1.6 hours labor to replace that. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful and uh, be sure to subscribe to Flyrate Mechanic if you haven't already.